take this opportunity to talk about day one and understanding the current state of the business that you're in. Usually it takes us about six weeks to get to this point with a company that is a client of ours. We help educate the team on understanding the principles of lean thinking and generally designing a future lean system, but knowing that they can't do this design without understanding where they are today and the complexities and the root cause of the problems that they're seeing today. In doing this, a lot of the team puts together a future design. They're pretty excited about it and makes a lot of sense. They need to get out there and just do it. And as they're doing this, they can't forget the rule, the golden rule of involving everybody that's affected by change. We have some forces always working against us and change is a force to be reckoned with. My suggestion is just do it, but keep the people side very high up on your priorities. An example of a pull system familiar to most people is the pull system for bread. The customers realize that their household is running low on bread and that they must replenish the bread box. They must go to a supermarket and buy some bread. There is more than one supermarket to choose from. The customers choose a supermarket and they go into it. They go to the bread aisle, take a loaf off the shelf, pay for it and take it home for consumption. As more customers come into the supermarket and buy bread, the rack that holds the bread becomes empty. Empty racks are taken into the back of the store. Full racks are brought from the supermarket's bread inventory. And the empty homes in the bread aisle are filled again. When the supermarket's inventory of bread runs low, it is time to order more bread from the bakery. The bakery delivers daily. 
They fill up their trucks and deliver a shipment to the supermarket. They fill up the racks in the back and the supermarket is able to continue to replenish the empty home in the bread aisle. The bakery uses a variety of ingredients for its bread recipes. For example, flour. Sooner or later, its flour inventory runs low and the bakery must pull from the flour mill. Flour is then shipped to the bakery to replenish the flour inventory. The flour mill uses wheat to make the flour. When the flour mill runs low on wheat, it pulls from the farm. Wheat is then shipped to the mill to replenish the wheat inventory. This pull system for bread demonstrates in a simple way the inspiration behind all pull systems. The customer pulls what they need and this in turn generates a chain reaction wherein upstream operations are queued so that they may be replenished and thus continuously maintain a strategic amount of inventory.